Hey everyone, so this is uh, a quick overview uh, tutorial of how to register for Connect. So if you uh, log into the Canvas course, in this case it's an OT158 course uh, that I'm teaching over at Solano. If you um, log into the course, you land on the home page where you have the course welcome stuff. Um, you will see linked up in the navigation pane the McGraw-Hill Connect button that you can click on. And from there um, it tells you that you only have to pair your class one time. So from here you'll click begin. And uh, because I have already paired the course with whatever textbook I'm using for the course, in this case it is the um, Computers in the Medical Office book, that uh, information should be over here on the left hand side. So if you've already registered and used Connect in another class, then you can use that information here and then you'll just enter your access code. But if you have not, then you can click here, register and you will put in an email we'll click begin fill out all the stuff that we need to fill out And then we will put um, that you'll need to agree to the terms, click continue. And then you have some options here. So let me get out of here. Okay, so then you have a couple of different um, options for purchasing access. You can either um, purchase access directly from the publisher, which is McGraw-Hill. You can do that using either a credit card online or a debit card, or you can use PayPal if you have PayPal. It will tell you whatever the access code price is. In this case, it's $90. In fact, I have found that for almost all of the courses for which I use Connect, and there are many, uh, the access code is almost always $90, which is quite the bargain considering that you get a free e-textbook with the access code purchase. So that's not bad. Um, so you can use that option. You can also um, put in the 20 digit ac access code here if you've already purchased like a card from the bookstore. If you used financial aid funds to purchase an actual um, access code card from the campus bookstore, then you can put that code in here. And or if you were given a code, um, by uh, one of your professors ever for a class if the, they received complimentary access um, for their students for some reason and that was um, given to you then you can put that code in here and then also too if you're ever at the beginning of a class and you don't really have the ninety dollars to put down up front but you need to get started on your homework you can also um, request temporary access and you get a two-week free trial and connect there um, which will allow you to access the course and um, begin working in the course and then after I think 13 or 14 days it will require you to come back here and either purchase or put in an access code to convert to a paid membership. So those are pretty much your options for um, getting into Connect. You can um, do I'm going to do this, the free access for two weeks. So once you get in, um, you can go to Connect. And I always pair my Connect um, 
courses with the actual Canvas shells. So anything that you do in Canvas will show up in Connect, or excuse me, anything you do in Connect will show up in Canvas and vice versa grade-wise. So um, if you look over back in Canvas, let me show you. Let me get over here. You go back to Canvas. And for example, now that I have gotten this access all set up, um, if I click on Chapter 2 Homework, it will take me directly to Chapter 2 Homework and connect. And that grade will automatically sync. So that's kind of how connect works. It's kind of awesome. Um, so when you look through the modules, all of your assignments, each assignment is linked here and that takes you automatically over to Connect. Um, so they're all linked up there in the modules for you. Alright, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know.